Spooky, scary, skell- uh, you know the rest. Hello, silly people, this is Sliss RPG coming back with where we left off on Alan Wake. Uh, this is literally right after I just turned off the last video, so... Watch the previous one if you're figuring out. Um, there's a good chance that this episode won't have much gameplay, so... This is a fair warning to you all. You can check if you want, but chances are this is a no. Early warning. So anyways, where we left off. Um, we were trying to find the power source, because Wifey is scared of the dark. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn on that light. It's outside, though, the so... Power cable goes to that shed over there. Da, 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 da. Beat it, Crow. Wait, what's this? The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Hmm. I like how he puts it in a sense of uh, it being like a, a like a, a written novel. But in reality, it was probably just some romantic couple spending the evening together. But everything has to be a story for Alan Wake. Because he's an author. He has to think like that. Um... Can I open the door? Is that even a door? That is not a door. Ah, all the wood An looks the same to me. Had been connected to the power cable. Okay, so we're just gonna get good old fashioned knit and grit. Yeah, turned it on. We turned that baby on. All right, so let's get a move on. Wait, is he walking now? Why are you walking? The lights are on. Good work, stop! Stop walking. There's it's bad enough that we can get. We barely get. Okay. This, I'll look around it's bad enough. We're gonna have to waste so much time on this extra exposition crap. Quit walking, please. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. So, as, uh, as already assumed when he entered the cafe, um, he's going, he's, he's on vacation right now because he wanted to get away from the work, I'll get away from it all. Um, you'll understand a little bit later, but, yeah. It's magnificent. It's, it's the light shining upon me. I can barely see my shadow. There we go. So it's getting dark. Let's go say hi to the wifey. Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise. Surprise! Crap, I went the wrong side. I wanted to see the other part I with I the. I a small confession to make. I thought maybe yeah. you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, you, everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Doctor Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not. Alan. Did anyone? S Alan? Okay. I don't. Just don't. I don't want to hear it. God so no one saw that house. shit? It, was I just going crazy? Because a creepy old lady just flashed in front of my face. Me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <gasps> I don't recall ever seeing that. And I've played through this level about four times already. Great. Had gone dark. Crap is going were. down. Alan! Alan! Wifey. Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming. Ah, crows of right. death. Coming. No! What the hell? Beat it. 
Something's happening inside the cabin while I'm trying to fight off the crows. Consider just the fact that why she might be unconscious. I mean, come on, people. If she, assuming she can swim, maybe she hit her head on rocks, and yet he dove headfirst into that crap, not really thinking that, hmm, I might hit my rock head on a rock too. <laughs> Gotta love um, hopeless romance. Get you both killed. I couldn't remember how I got. Not that I. Blame him for what he did. Just terrible had happened to Alice. If you're not using your head, who's gonna save her? The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Also, we just showed up somewhere else. We're not in water anymore, and it looks like he crashed his damn car. Question is, what's reality anymore? Because I'm pretty sure we were in the water just a minute ago. Among Alice's things was a book, *The Creator's Dilemma*, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's <laughs> smug face on the cover either. As an artist myself, it is it is a bit annoying when someone else tells you to, uh, when someone else feels like they need to fix your artist your um art your artist's block or your writer's block or whatever the long, whatever the sense of it. Though she was only trying to help, he didn't have to snap at her. Even if it is annoying. My best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long just, hike through the floors to get there. Because it's already frustrating enough knowing that you can't do it. Um, having someone else helplessly try to fix a problem that's probably not going to get fixed, sure as hell does not help. And that's probably how he looked at it. All it did was frustrate him because it reminded him that he can't do it. And the car goes over. Good thing I got triple A. They'll insure me for sure. Especially the fat part where I can't explain shit of what happened because I have amnesia. So, how did your car go over a cliff exactly? Uh, I woke up and that happened. Sorry, sir. We can't. We this doesn't c cover our policy. What? But my car was wrecked. I'm sorry, sir. Why not try Geico? Hello? They got a gecko for their mascot, and their funny commercials. Hello? Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. That wasn't creepy at all. If you guys remember the axe murderer at the, fir at the very beginning of the game, you know, some Inception shit right there. Well, actually not Inception. It's more like... Uh... You psych they're psychic. Yeah, psychic. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Wandering around, alone Anybody in the there? woods. Please! I've been in an accident! Who's he yelling to? There's light. Light at the end of the tunnel. Or woods. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. This is not a good sign. Da, 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 da. Hmm. That's a that's a work hazard. Anybody there? Please, 
I've been in an accident! Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident! I need help! Listen, I need to... Premium cabins for rent. Girl, he's got the creepy black aura. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Wait, that's Carl? To beat you. non I'm just kidding, I knew that already. Required. Fair and square. Uh, he's clearly not in his right mind. Fair and square. So let's follow him. Like the smart man. Wait. He had an axe? And that guy's dead. Oh my god, the dream is coming true! Just kidding, I knew that already too. Seriously, I, I mean, I've played this thing like four times already, and yet I've never beaten it. Mainly because I wanted to record it for you guys. It's perfect for this Halloween season. Somehow that didn't click with me until after every, every log had fallen off. He's not Spider-Man. It would have been hilarious if he tripped and fell and not jump. You lose. Shit. Oh, he's coming for blood. Go away, axe murder. Bullet time. No, that did not work. That did not work. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Here's Johnny. Wait, is that The Shining? I don't know anymore. Either way. Crazy axe man. Don't give a shit. Not exactly time to be worrying about uh, you know, whether or not I got accuracy. So where is he at? No, seriously. Like, you can hear his crazy talk, but I don't see him. He's probably still outside the door. I always wondered if you could see him outside before something happens. Yes. We'll never know. Hello? Hello? And now. That's gonna happen. Despair. Uh. Now would probably be a good time to leave. Get up, get up, get up! Going down. Bye, house. I'll miss you. So. Yeah. House. I sent the bulldozer over with it. The All right. Now, the now is a I good time Stuggy to leave a cliffhanger. No, I'm just kidding. I, I think I'm going to keep going. No, 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 never mind. Let's keep it at 20 minutes apiece. All right, folks. This is where we're going to end. After that, we'll possibly have a confrontation with Mr. Stucky. Crazy axe murderer Nicholson man. Yeah. So, uh, I'll, be, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Blech.